Good morning, it is your girl, Trucking Beauty, coming to you with another video again on my way to church. Happy Sunday, it's Sunday here. Kind of a gloomy, overcast day, but it is still a day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad. <laughs> anyway, so I, um, it was kind of just put on my heart that just share this with you guys this morning and I've kind of been like waiting to get some time where I can like do this um my life I've I've discovered on the road I don't have any downtime anymore it's just it is what it is I have a list I have a do list to do list um not a do list but to do list of things that I need to get accomplished and I just don't have time on the road. Like, stuff I had to take home, I had to take back home to do it. Like, I literally put stuff in the truck to take it on the road to do it on the road. And that didn't happen. <clears throat> but, I kind of just wanted to share. Um, I don't know what you guys are going through. I don't know. But, somebody needs to know that you need to know your worth. Like, you need to know the value of the person, like, who you are. You know what I mean? They, um, you, like, all my ladies, you are queens. And all my guys, you are kings. And you need to act accordingly. Like, know your worth. If you're at that job that ain't paying nothing, and you are doing over and beyond, and they don't see your worth, go find you another job that is going to pay you more. You know what I mean? If you know, you're in that relationship and he or she is treating you bad, don't appreciate you, walk away. Walk away. This, this thing, like I've come across some people and I've noticed some things. A lot of people these days, they're afraid to be alone. Yeah, that's a tough one. They're afraid to be alone. And the thing about that is like, you don't have to be afraid to be alone. No one should be afraid to be alone. You'll find out so much about yourself when you're alone. You need to be alone. Not forever, but you need some time to yourself. Like you need, you need time to yourself to pamper yourself. You need time to yourself to like talk to yourself, think about stuff without the input, the criticism, the comments of other people. You need to process your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. You need to figure out what it is in your life that you need to do better at. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's what's some of the things that you need to level up on? Push yourself to the next level on. Different aspects. It might be financial. It might be spiritual. It might be emotional. It might be all that. It might be mental. You might need counseling. You might need, you know, whatever. You need to find that time to yourself that you can sit there and talk to yourself and be like, okay, I got to level up on this. I got to get to the next level. What am I doing wrong? Like I've seen for the past 5, 10, 15 years, I've been doing this, 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 and this, this. How do I break this cycle? How do I stop doing this? How do I stop going to that? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So you need to know your worth. You're, you're a queen and you're a king. And some of y'all need to go on over to Claire's or the hair store or Amazon or wherever and get you a little tiara, girls and ladies and guys need to get you a crown. And y'all need to start wearing it. Wear it proudly on like a daily, weekly basis until it processes in your head like I am a queen. I am a king. I'm not going to put up with certain things. There are things that I'm going to say no to. Change this over. There are things that I'm going to say no to. There are things that, that are not going to be um, what they used to be. There are people who I'm going to let go out of my life. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one right there. There's people that I'm going to have to cut out of my life. Because some people are toxic. And no matter how much you try to grow, there are some people going to pull you back constantly. So you're going to have to learn how to block some people. You have to learn how to um, delete some people. But I suggest both. First you block, then you delete. So they can't even call you. When they come calling you, 
And when they ask what your number is, you try to go call them, can't do it. I mean, it is necessary to get to the next level of whatever you're trying to do. And I hope you're trying to do something. I hope you are. I hope you're trying to follow your dreams. If not, I want to encourage you to do it. You know what your dreams are? Sit down and write a plan. Write a plan. Don't go telling the whole world about your plan. Just sit down and write a plan and start working towards that plan. The reason you don't tell the whole world is because you're always going to have silent haters. And some haters ain't even silent. Some haters, the silent haters are going to encourage you, but they're really going to try to find a way to backstab you. And there's haters that are going to be, you know, straightforward haters. Like, nah, you can't do that. Nah, nah. And it's not even that they're hating. It's just that you might be trying to do something they've never done before. Or you might be trying to do something that they've never known anyone to do before. So it's new. It's new to them and it's new to you. So it's scary. It's scary to you because you're trying to do it. And it's scary to them because they don't know anyone who has done it. So you don't have anyone to turn to for help. I promise you, those are not the people you want in your circle when you're trying to achieve your dreams. What you do is you go find ones who have done it. You hear me? You find ones who have done it. And you listen to them. You talk to them. You ask them questions. Ask them question after question after question. Keep asking questions. Keep asking questions. I need a little off break. When you think your questions are over and done, ask some more questions. Mm, look gloss. Cause my Mary Kay look gloss is popping. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself sometimes just laugh at myself laugh out loud at myself but that was what I have been wanting to share like you know you gotta do you know that the stars are the limit not just the sky like hey yeah well actually it ain't no limit the stars the sky the moon it ain't no limit what's the limit is what you don't see that's the limit oh that's the truth the limit is what you don't see so when you stop dreaming, you can't see the vision of your dreams anymore. That's where your limit is. Ooh, that was good. Mm, I'm about to use that one. That was good. That was good. It just hit me. It just came to me. I like that. The limit is what you don't see. So when you stop seeing your vision and your dreams, that's where your limits are. So what you need to do? You need to dream bigger. Don't limit yourself. Dream bigger. You can do anything that you set your mind to. I promise you, you can. With a good plan and determination, you can do anything that you set your mind to. And that's just what I wanted to share with y'all this morning. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great day, a great week, Sunday. Going to church. Hallelujah. Holla. <laughs>